Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. Thought I'd give you a little backyard shot here of uh, how things are progressing this spring. So here's the upper, or that's your little lower deck, garden boxes, airplane going overhead up there. But uh, you can see the, uh, the little rainbow chard that we had from last year starting to come up and looks like we got a uh, little pop up of one of the uh, radish type plants we had over here from last year. So we actually go and harvest some of these that are coming up. I think they went to seed last year, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure they had the seed heads on top. And we uh, left it out last fall. But yeah, we'll come through here and pull some of these. We can eat these leaves while we're here. We'll get to taste one. Yeah, that definitely tastes like radish. So, well, those would be good. God, those, those are really nice. <laughs> I guess I should, shouldn't, shouldn't eat all of my, uh, my crops before I uh, get done doing the video. Oh, uh, we've got our kales here. Paula's been coming through here. You can see they've been uh, chopped. I gotta, I gotta tell her to not take so many off of one plant. You can see this one here's got hardly any left on it. <laughs> but uh, here's those garlic chives that used to be inside the large grow tent. Looks like they're doing okay. I mean, we had a really cold last couple of days here. I mean, it was down, I think, was it Saturday? Yesterday. It was 37 for most of the day. And I think it got up to a high of 42 here at the house. So, I mean, that's that's really cold. And I'm, you know, I'm surprised. I mean, you can see this rainbow or beta mix, you know, seems to be holding its own. There's new growth on here and it's not dead. I mean, it does look like it maybe got a little burned from the, uh, the cold weather here. So hopefully it'll come back. But Paula's been coming out here and getting some of this parsley. It's still hanging on. That cold weather is really, really dampened down this stuff. But, uh, you know, we've got some of this, some of these lettuces here. I think this is a lettuce. I don't know where that came from. That doesn't look like a... I have to, I have to take a taste of that. But I got rid of the uh, the basil that was here because it pretty much was just gone after we had that cold snap last week. And yesterday, it was just wiped out. So there was no saving any of it. So I took the, the tops and I went and tossed them over, in the, over behind the uh, bushes over there to see if any of the seeds will actually drop off. That it might, because you know it did go to flower, and there was bees on it, so it was pollinated. You know, before we had that cold snap, and so maybe the seed heads will actually drop some. We'll have some basil just like growing crazy behind the boxwood over there. This would be kind of cool to walk around and pick some basil and chomp on it while I'm out and we're doing my uh, my weekend work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this has got some new growth coming in it. I need to come through here and snip out some of this uh, not so healthy looking, you know salad stuff but uh, Paula's been coming through here and getting her lunch meals which you know she likes to this arugula too because it seems to be sending up some new shoots you can see it's got some new growth in here even with that colder weather I'm surprised this is still going that's cool we got the clematis coming back up here you know hopefully this will keep hanging on through any more cold snaps but uh, out in the garden boxes out and through there, all the buckwheat has germinated, and the peas are germinating, and so they're coming up, the buckwheat and the, uh, the oats. They're uh, probably, you know, eh, about that tall. Not in comparison to my fingers to the garden beds, but <laughs> they're about two inches. So that's that's cool, because that's going to be a you know, nice uh, nutrient drop when I cover those beds up and do my kill before I put in the, uh, the plants we're growing under the house. And then uh, there's the there's the kale, of course. It seems to be holding its own. It's got some new growth on it, even when we had that cold weather last week. So I'm happy to see that, because that, that kale is gonna be put into these beds, and I think I'm gonna put it right here. So I think that'll do really nicely here with the shade profile we get on this deck at that spot. The kale seems to do pretty well right along in there. So you might be able to hear Paula, she's in there yelling at her pugs, because they're having a play session, I guess. Oh, I did set up the, uh, this is one of my trellises that I was using for squash last year. As you remember, it was in, let's see, I had one in that bed, and then I had one in this bed, and the tomatoes kind of just took it over when I had those tomatoes that were so huge last year, those 12 to 14 footers that were going. But I'm going to use it this year just on top of this box because we, uh, we got a climbing rose. So I'm going to weave that through this this year, and it'll give us a nice pollinator attractor right here next to the tomato plants that I'll put in that bed there, as well as, you know, it'll draw them into the center here. 
because it's one of those really fragrant uh, roses. We picked it out last year and we kept it going this winter and I decided to plant it in a used little box that I had made for bamboo up on our hillside. So I just turned that into a little planter for this uh, climbing rose. So we'll let it climb up my thing here. And that's just kind of a you know two by two with eyelets screwed in and I'm using parachute cord or what they call paracord because it's very durable and it's a nylon woven with like I don't know 10 strand nylon woven with a nice you know outer sheath around the cord so it makes it very strong because I've had these for I believe three years or four years now you know the wood has warped a little bit but uh, it's still solid and uh, it holds up so I'm going to use that for the uh, rose this year and as I was mentioning uh, the peas, they've started to come up, the ones that I planted out there. The Cascadia pea I got from High Mowing Seed. So they're starting to germinate everywhere that I have one of these little, like those uh, kind of red. Well, they're not red anymore, they look like a faded pink. But uh, all those little trellis things throughout the yard here. And then of course I have them, you know, out there where I put these new bean hutches. Let's see, what else do we have? I guess I could just give you a shot of the, uh, the daffodils. And stuff though you know they're all popping up and all the different bulb plants they're starting to really come into their own now hopefully we're gonna get some nice weather so they'll really start to shine on the uh, the hillside but, uh, oh and the other the other trellis thing that I set up back there the big a-frame I'm gonna actually put spaghetti squash back there because that's last year I put the sunflowers and they were uh, basically to prep that soil to get the sunflower roots to go dig down deep in there and then they cut them off that last fall, chopped and dropped them right there, and then uh, that root mass can actually help amend that soil to where now this year I want to put squash in there. So that sprouts spaghetti squash, I believe is what we're going to put there. Either that or waltham butternut, because it does get quite a bit of sun there. Out of our, you know, meager sun for the day we do get. So hopefully it'll do uh, pretty well there. But other than that, the, the peach trees are blooming, and the almond tree is still, still blooming up there. Some of the They'll probably start dropping off this next week and this this is our large peach tree right here and so it should start blooming next week possibly this week if we do get the uh the mid 60s temperatures for the hot days you know this week's coming up in their highs is in the 60s we might even get it blooming but that's kind of the yard right now in the state that it's in with the uh the cold snaps and then the warm weather and then the cold snaps come back hopefully this was interesting for you guys to see as we progress through spring and into summer. All right, well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Talk to you guys again. All right, bye.